My name is Jeremy Love. I'm a graduate student at Boston University in the physics department, and we're on the Marin site of the CERN laboratory here on the border of Switzerland and France. CERN is the European Center for Nuclear Research. Here there's a large particle accelerator called the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC. We're looking for theoretical particles that have been predicted by theorists, uh, but have not yet been observed by experiment. We hope to see them uh, here at CERN. I work primarily in the Atlas Experimental Cavern, which is a large underground building that houses one of the world's largest and most complicated machines. Particle physics is a lot like looking at what's inside a lock with boxing gloves. So you have this very small, delicate thing, and you just keep hitting it to see what comes flying out. And so you're looking at what comes flying out of these collisions. So what you're looking for is very small and very delicate, but you're trying to break it apart. And so the forces at work inside these very small areas are incredibly strong. So you need these big machines to sort of get at these very small distances. The LHC tunnel is actually filled with 1,200 of these uh, dipole magnets that stretch 26 kilometers and cross the French Swiss border. So uh, it gives you a sense of scale. It's fun to come into work every day, you know, physically work on uh, the detector and then to come up and work on the analysis and look at, at actual physics and stuff and see the connection between them and all the, all the steps in between. My parents aren't uh, in any way scientists and uh, when I was growing up I actually always thought I wanted to work on volcanoes. <laughs> But then uh, I guess I've always liked big things. But uh, I, uh, I read uh, Brief History of Time when I was in high school and sort of uh, from there started reading lots of other things and just sort of fell in love with the idea of particle physics. My thesis research is looking to discover uh, particles that are predicted by one of these theories that are beyond the standard model. Answering the big questions, I guess, is what has to sort of drive you. I mean, if you're, if you're not motivated by understanding the universe, it's probably not not going to keep you interested. It's easy to forget that these things are uh, why you're doing the experiment and to not get lost in some small detail. That's one nice thing about having a thesis is that it sort of forces you to um, take a step back and think about the physics and you can't just get lost in what you're doing in the day to day. You have to sort of always keep the big picture in mind. Ultimately, I'd like to graduate, <laughs> so.